characters and the dialogue, setting the foundation for the narrative. A great script is like a blueprint, a guide that directs all other aspects of the film. Next, we have the director, the visionary who interprets the script, guiding the cast and crew to bring the story to life. The director's vision shapes the tone, pace, and emotional resonance of the film, turning words on paper into a living, breathing story. Cinematography is another crucial element. Through the lens of the camera, the cinematographer paints the visual story. Lighting, framing, and camera movement all contribute to the visual language of the film, helping to immerse the audience in the world of the story. Acting, of course, is the human element. Actors breathe life into the characters, bringing depth and emotion. Their performances can make us laugh, cry, or even sit on the edge of our seats in anticipation. Music, often an underrated element, plays a critical role in shaping the emotional landscape of a film. A well-placed score can heighten tension, evoke emotion, or even subtly guide the audience's reactions. Finally, we have editing. The editor is the ultimate storyteller, piecing together the film in a way that best serves the narrative. They control the rhythm and pace, deciding when to linger on a moment and when to move on. Each of these elements in isolation is an art form, but when combined, they create something magical, a visual narrative that has the power to captivate audiences and transport them into a different world. Film takes storytelling to another dimension, providing a sensory experience that literature can only make us imagine. You might ask, how is storytelling in literature any different from storytelling in film? Well, let's delve into that, shall we? When we draw parallels between storytelling in literature and film, we notice that the core elements essentially remain the same. We're talking about character, plot, conflict, and resolution. These are the building blocks of any narrative, irrespective of the medium. But the medium, oh, the medium is where the magic happens. It's like the same beautiful song being played on different instruments, each lending its unique flavor to the melody. Let's talk about literature. It's an art form that's been around for centuries. It uses words to paint pictures, create atmospheres, and evoke emotions. A well-written piece of literature can transport you to another world, make you live another life, and feel things you've never felt before. The power of words is such that they can make you hear the rustle of leaves, smell the rain-soaked soil, taste the sweetness of a ripe peach, and touch the softness of a baby's cheek. A good author can make you fall in love with a character, despise a villain, or empathize with a stranger, all through the magic of words. Now let's flip the coin and look at film. It's a relatively newer medium but oh boy, has it made an impact. Film uses visuals and sounds to create a narrative. The power of a single frame, the roar of an explosion, the silence of a poignant moment, the melody of a background score, these are the tools of a filmmaker. A good film can make you laugh, cry, shudder, or cheer, all within the span of a few minutes. The filmmaker uses the camera as a paintbrush, the actors as colors, and the screen as a canvas to tell their story. So you see, while literature and film may seem different, they are just different expressions of the same art. Storytelling. They both aim to take the audience on a journey, to make them feel a spectrum of emotions, and to leave them with something to ponder upon. They both use their unique tools to create a world, populate it with characters, set up conflicts, and resolve them in a satisfying manner. It's fascinating to see how narrative techniques have evolved over time. From oral stories told around a fire to epics written on papyrus, from black and white silent films to high definition 3D movies, storytelling has come a long way. But at its core, it remains the same. It's about sharing experiences, expressing emotions, and connecting with others. It's about telling a story. Whether it's a novel or a film, the art of storytelling involves taking the audience on a journey, making them feel a spectrum of emotions, and leaving them with something to ponder upon. So what's the crux of it all? Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture we've painted today. We've embarked on a journey through the captivating world of storytelling, delving deep into its roots in literature and its evolution into the realm of film. In literature, we've seen how the written word has the power to transport us to different worlds and eras, engrossing us in the lives of characters that may or may not be of our own making. We've recognized the importance of plot, character development, themes, and the writer's voice, all of which come together to form a compelling narrative that keeps us turning the pages. Then we ventured into the world of film, where visual and auditory elements augment the storytelling process. 
Here we've seen how the director's vision, the actor's performances, and the cinematographer's lens all contribute to bringing a story to life, offering a more immersive experience that can be both powerful and transformative. Drawing parallels between these two mediums, we've discovered that while the tools may differ, the essence of storytelling remains constant. It's about creating a connection, evoking emotions, and providing an experience that resonates with the audience, regardless of the medium. However, storytelling is not a static art. It has evolved over time, adapting to the changing tastes and preferences of its audience. From the classical linear narratives of yesteryears to the non-linear experimental narratives of today, the art of storytelling continues to reinvent itself, always striving to captivate, inspire, and provoke thought. In the end, a good story, whether told through a book or a film, has the power to touch hearts, change perceptions, and leave a lasting impact. That's the true art of storytelling.